Dear students, we have been dealing with the diseases and complications in immune system. This class we can deal with the transplantation. What is meant by transplantation? Transplanting or transferring cells, tissues or organs from one side of the body of a person to another side of his or her own body or from a person to another person or from a donor to a recipient for some cases that's what is called transplantation in biology here you can see some examples usually transplanted parts tissues skin cornea heart kidney liver etc transplanted often you can see the aspects of corneal grafts it has been the most successful graft so far because it is avascular what is meant by avascular vascular means associated with the blood vessels or provided with the blood vessels vascular or of or associated with blood vessel is called vascular so avascular means not having blood vessels so there will be no blood vessels in cornea so if cornea is transplanted from one person to another person the antigen cell surface antigens or cell surface proteins associated with the cornea will not enter the bloodstream of the recipient because cornea has no direct association with the blood vessels so it will not sensitize the patient by inducing external antigen and provoking immune system of the patient that's why it is called immunologically privileged site the transplant of cornea will not induce or will not provoke immune system that's why it is called immunologically privileged site it enjoys some immunological privileges patients do not need immunosuppression because there will be no immunity against the graft so immunity as of the patient has not to be suppressed another example is cartilage cartilage is also an immunologically privileged site then kidney immunosuppression is needed because it doesn't enjoy any immunological privilege because it is not avascular it is vascular but there is a way for reducing the immunity provocation by the kidney transplant multiple blood transfusion prior to grafting before transplanting the kidney if the patient is undergone multiple blood transfusion from the donor it may help graft survival actually the mechanism behind this graft survival because of the multiple blood transfusion has not yet been described but it is believed that it may be due to the presence of blocking antibodies or the generation of anti idiotypic suppressor t cells what is meant by blocking antibody what is meant by anti idiotypic t cells see here antibodies you know antibodies are protein molecules which has got the capacity to bind with the antigens and the problem associated with the transplant is the cell surface antigen present on the graft so those cell surface antigen will be blocked by some specially created volunteer antibody cells because of the prior exposure to the blood from the donor the prior exposure to the blood from the donor might have produced so many antibodies against the proteins or antigens from the donor these antibodies may block the cell surface antigens present on the graft transplanted later so those blocking antibodies may be helping the graft survival by blocking the antigens associated with the kidney another one is the generation of anti idiotypic 
receptor cells or subcussar T cells. These are the cells which bind the antigen binding site of the antibody. Okay. Antigen binding site of the antibody is essential for binding an antigen. So the kidney transplant, if the transplant, if the kidney is transplanted, the cell surface antigen is present or MHC is present on the transplant will provoke immunity and produce antibody in the patient. This antibody will be blocked by the or will be the antigen binding site of the antibody will be blocked by the TF cells produced because of the prior exposure to the blood from the donor. That's what is called generation of anti idiotypic TS cells which will bind the antigen binding site of the antibody produced against the antigens on the transplant. Next one is heart transplant. Heart transplant is usually done during or in the case of cardiomyopathy. What is meant by cardiomyopathy? Cardio means heart, myo means muscles. Difficulty in pumping. Pumping is associated with the action of the muscles. If the weakness of the muscle is called myopathy. Then in the case of rheumatic heart disease, then congenital heart disease, immunosuppression is needed because it is, uh, it is highly vascular. The transplant has got exposure to the blood vessels or immunity immune system of the recipient so mostly cyclosporin is used in the case of the immunosuppression then what is meant by contra indications contra seen contra you might have heard this term in the film oh what is that film prema contra seen contra indications you know Contra indications means the symptoms which makes a treatment inadvisable. You may know that some people cannot undergo particular treatment because those people may respond against the medicines used or surgical procedure used in that particular treatment. So some types of treatment cannot be done to some patients. That's what is called contra indications. If there is severe pulmonary hypertension, infection or cancer to a heart patient, he cannot be undergone heart transplantation. That is what is called contraindications. If the patient is normal except in the case of heart, he can undergo the treatment, he can undergo the transplantation. Then a probability for the survival or 90% survival of the graft is haplotype. Haplotype is a group of linked genes. You don't have to study it in detail now. Next one is the liver transplant. Is usually done in the case of hepatitis, cirrhosis, congenital anomalies, Wilson's disease and tyrosinemia. Immunosuppression is needed. Complication. Complication means the problem associated with the transplantation. Organ ischemia. Ischemia means pain due to the insufficient blood supply to organs. Then infection and rejection. These are the problems associated with the transplantation of the liver. Then bone marrow as transplant. It's usually done the case of aplastic anemia. What is meant by aplastic anemia? Anemia means insufficient uh, supply of oxygen to the cells and thereby production of less energy. So aplastic anemia means failure of bone marrow to produce enough blood vessels. Bone marrow fails to produce enough blood vessels thereby the blood cannot carry enough oxygen to the cells and as a consequence the energy production will be low then acute and chronic leukemia breast cancer and some lymphomas 
Then autograft. There are some terminologies associated with the transplantation. First one is the autograft. Autograft means self-graft. Self-tissue or organ transplanted. Actually, from one person to his own body, organ is not transplanted, only tissue is transplanted. That's why it is called it is written here self-tissue. Self-tissue transferred from one body side to another side in the same individual. That is what is called self-graft or autograft. Example, transferring healthy skin to a burned area. Then use of healthy blood vessels to replace blocked coronary arteries. The next one is isograft. Iso means identical. Tissue transferred between genetically identical individuals. Tissue or organ transferred between genetically identical individuals or homozygotic twins or the twins produced for, from by the splitting of the same embryo. Their genetic constitution will be entirely same. So there will be no uh, extra or unknown antigen in the donor. So there will be no graft rejection. These grafts are called identical graft because the graft from one twin to the core twin will be exactly similar in every aspect. In the case of humans, an isograph can be performed between genetically identical or monozygotic or homozygotic twins. Then what is meant by allograft? is exactly different. Allograft means non-identical graft. Tissue or organ transferred between genetically different members of the same species. Human organ grafts from one individual to another one are allografts. Usually kidney, heart, liver, etc. transplanted from one patient to another patient. Then xenograft. Xenograft is very rare. It is non-identical graft itself but between different species. Tissue or organ transferred between different species. Example, the graft of a baboon. It's a particular type of monkeys. The graft of a baboon heart into a human being. Xeno antigens may cause severe graft rejection because these antigens are coming from entirely different species. Okay. Porcine heart valve. The heart valve of the pig is transplanted to human being. Next, we can see the mechanism of graft rejection in detail. What is meant by graft rejections? The graft transplanted to a recipient will be rejected by the immune system of the recipient. That's what is called graft rejection. You know, the immune system of the recipient rejects the graft because of mounting immunity and immunity is mounted against antigens so what will be the antigens responsible for the graft rejection definitely the antigens which came along with the graft these antigens are called transplantation antigens okay what transplantation antigens are the antigens present on the graft? The two types of antigens present or that is likely to be present in the graft is ABO blood group antigen or HL antigen, human leukocyte antigen, or it has got another term MHC, major histocompatibility complex proteins. These are the two types of antigens that are likely to be present on the graft. And what we have to do against the graft rejection as a precaution first we have to test whether the blood group of the recipient and donor are matching that is what is called ABO matching ABO blood group you know ABO is present on the vascular endothelium of the graft now you might have got another doubt we are not transfusing the blood but transplanting a graft and the blood will not be present in the graft so how will be the blood group antigens present on the graft 
ABO antigens are present not only on the surface of RBCs but on the vascular endothelium of the graft. You know, graft is an organ and an organ will have a lot of blood vessels and a lot of capillaries and these minute capillaries are made up of uh, very thin squamous epithelium and the inner lining squamous epithelium is called endothelium and this endothelium of the capillaries may have got ABO antigens adhered onto the inner surface of the endothelium. So the ABO antigens will reach the recipient's body through the endothelium of the graft. Okay. Then next test we have to do is cross matching for preformed antibodies against graft HLA. You know HLA is the human leukocyte antigen or the MHC. We have to do whether the recipient has developed antibodies previously when she or she received blood from the same donor in any time in the past. If she or the recipient had received the blood from the same donor any time in the past, definitely the recipient might have formed or developed antibodies against all antigens present or the MHC antigens present on the uh, donor cells. Okay, you know blood is transfused, transfused if there is same blood group between the recipient and donor but the MHC will never be same with, between the recipient and donor. So if a donor has given blood to recipient the recipient's body will have formed antibodies against the MHCs present on the donor. So that donor cannot give a graft in future to the recipient because the preformed antibodies when she received blood from the same donor against the MHCs will reject the graft of the donor. Uses you patients most recent serum and donors lymphocyte. These are mixed together and checked for any cross-linking. If donors cells are killed by patient serum in the cross-matching test, it is positive cross-match and we can understand that the preformed antibodies are present in the recipient because the recipient had received blood from the same donor in the past. So this positive cross-matching between the preformed antibodies in the serum of the recipient and the MHC antigens present on the uh, lymphocyte of the donor is a contraindication, means a situation which is opposing or which does not encourage the transplantation. Contraindication means a situation which does not encourage a particular treatmental procedure, treatment procedure. We can see mechanism of graft rejection, cell mediated allograft rejection. Allograft means the graft from one individual to another individual within the same species. Sensitization phase is the first one. Antigen reactive lymphocytes of the recipient. That is definitely the recipient might have a lot of lymphocytes. And we all have lymphocytes that are reactive against antigens. These lymphocytes are reactive against antigens. That's why they are called immunologically or immunocompetent lymphocytes. So antigen reactive lymphocytes of the recipient or immunocompetent lymphocyte of the recipient proliferate or divide continuously in response to allo antigens on the graft. That is the first stage. When the graft is transplanted, the antigens present on the 
graft that is alloantigens will mount immunity and the lymphocyte of the recipient in the lymphocyte of the recipient will multiply continuously and that is the sensitization phase second one is the effector stage these multiplied lymphocytes are called effector t cells these effector t cells will march or migrate to the graft and immune destruction of the graft takes place then hyperacute rejection is the immediate rejection of the graft transplant is rejected very quickly within minutes of the transplantation okay so the graft tissue never becomes vascularized or never becomes established in the body of the host even for a single day that's called hyperacute rejection what is the reason caused by the pre-existing host serum antibodies specific for antigens okay in order to avoid this hyperacute rejection we recommend the cross matching of the recipient serum and leukocyte of the donor has to be done as we have discussed a few while ago if there was positive cross matching the transplantation should not be encouraged caused by the pre-existing host serum antibodies specific for the antigens of the graft this might have developed because of the prior exposure to the donor's blood then antigen antibody complexes formed in this reaction or this uh, immunological reaction between the antigens of the donor and the preformed antibodies in the serum of the recipient will activate so many complement proteins resulting in infiltration of neutrophils you can see in next figure as a result of this inflammation reaction will occur and the graft will be damaged you can see here <coughs> this is the graft this is the recipient's body and there are pre-existing antibodies in the recipient serum so the recipient's pre-existing antibodies will migrate to the graft and attach with the hla antigens leukocyte antigens okay <clears throat> and they will attract a lot they will activate complements and attract a lot of neutrophils neutrophils secrete a lot of lytic enzymes and inflammation reaction will occur in the graft suddenly the graft will be damaged within a single day that is what is called hyperacute rejection okay hyperacute rejection occurs within minutes and the uh, preformed antibodies are responsible for the same next acute rejection it is a cell mediated one beginning about 10 days after transplantation because of the mismatched hla antigens th cell activation and proliferation are responsible for the same is almost similar to the hyperacute rejection but it occurs a few days after the transplantation because th cells are responsible for this rejection so lysis of the graft cell will occur activation of inflammation will occur there is no involvement of the antibodies next chronic rejection in this case both cell mediated and antibody occurs or cell mediated and humoral response occurs and it occurs after years of transplantation what is happening in this chronic rejection is that gradually the vascular arterial lumen of the graft will narrow why going to or because of the growth of the endothelial cells that line the vascular bud. next one is the graft versus host reaction we have been dealing with the host versus graft reaction so far means the host body rejects the graft here what is happening the graft rejects the host okay 
that is what is called graft versus host reaction you know the recipient in a graft transplantation treatment will be immunocompromised or the immunity of the recipient will be in a suppressed state by the activity of some medicines or immunosuppressive agents so in this immunocompromised patients immune cells will not work so the graft will conquer the body of the host okay so graft will not be rejected so the graft will survive in the host for the time being as long as there is immunosuppression so in this short short period of time this graft will conquer the body of the host and mount the immunity against the host that is what is called graft versus host reaction the transplanted cells may view the host or recipient as non-self and react against it okay that is what is called graft reaction graft versus host reaction Activation and proliferation of T cells and the subsequent production of cytokines generate inflammatory reactions in the skin, gastrointestinal tract, and liver. Here, what happens is that the immunocombatant T cells present on the graft will mount immunity against the host antigens and cause inflammation in skin, gastrointestinal tract, and liver of the patient. It will lead to dermatitis hyperbilirubinemia vomiting diarrhea etc because all these systems are affected liver is affected and hyperbilirubinemia is caused gastrointestinal tract is affected it causes vomiting and diarrhea skin is affected it causes dermatitis that's because the graft treats the host as a foreign body in the case of successful graft survival, immunosuppression is the cause, slowing the proliferation of activated lymphocytes, corticosteroids, anti-inflammatory prednisone and dexamethasone are used for the immunosuppression. Then azathioprine are mitotic inhibitors, which will prevent the multiplication of the T cell in the recipient. Then cytotoxic agents block cell replication of the T cell, thereby immunity is suppressed. You can see the example. Then most widely used is the cyclosporin A. Then trichrolimus and rapamycin are used for the immunosuppression. And another one is monoclonal antibody therapy. It will delete immunocompetent T cells in the donor bone marrow cells in the case of bone marrow transplantation. And thereby immunity is stopped. Okay, I think you might have understood.